Hello everybody and welcome to this series of e-learning lectures prepared to help you develop competencies related to ESP, English for specific purposes. This is lecture number 4. Needs Analysis in ESP. Part 1. By the end of this lecture you will be able to define and determine the needs for which a learner or a group of learners learn ESP. Before we move forward, if you have not been here before then welcome to Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and also smash the notification bell to receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. Also, let me know down the comments what are the difficulties you are facing right now. So, I can use your ideas for future videos. Introduction Need analysis is a process of identifying performance requirements, and the gap between what performance is required, and what presently exists. The process of needs analysis, often entails collecting information, for the sake of having the necessary bases to develop a course, which will meet the needs of a particular group of students. In this respect, Fluke, 1993, claims that teachers must start by considering the needs of the learners, and what they have to do in the target situation. Noonan, 1988, 75, states that needs analysis is a family of procedures, for gathering information about learners and about communication tasks. Brown, 1995, 36, states that, the term needs analysis refers to systematic collection and analysis of all subjective, and objective information, necessary to define and validate defensible curriculum processes, that satisfy the language learning requirements of students, within the context of particular institutions, that influence the learning and teaching situation. Richards and Platt, 1992-242, claim that needs analysis is, the process of determining the needs for which a learner, or a group of learners acquires a language, and arranges the needs according to priorities. Accordingly, teachers are required to gather information about What do students need to do with English? What learners will be required to do with the foreign language, in the target situation? Which of the skills do they need to master the target language? Which genres do they need to master, either for comprehension or production purposes? Types of needs. It is necessary to understand what is first meant by the term needs, before tackling the types of ESP needs are defined as the requirements that students hold in order to communicate effectively, in the target situation. They are also defined as what students need to learn to acquire the language. This implies the existence of two main types of needs. Target needs and learning needs. Hutchinson and Waters identify two types of needs as illustrated in the figure below. Target needs. Target needs refer to what learners need to do to communicate effectively in the target situation. According to Hutchinson and Waters, 1987, target needs are mainly related to what the learner needs to do in the target situation. Viewing the definition as such, ESP practitioners differentiate between necessities, lacks and wants. 1. Necessities. Necessities are the academic or occupational requirements of the target situation, that is, what the learner has to know in order to function effectively in the target situation. Necessities represent the final objectives, they show what the learners are able to do at the end of the English course. Robinson, 1991, 7, claims that needs are perhaps more appropriately described as objectives to be achieved. 2. Lacks. Lacks refer to the proficiency level, and background of the learners. They also refer to what the learners lack, in order to reach the required level of proficiency. Lacks are what the learners already know, and what they are deficient in, i.e. what they ignore or cannot perform in English. Subsequently, lacks are the gaps between the initial or actual situation of the learners, in terms of language proficiency or aptitudes, and the one which is required after the accomplishment of the language training. 3. Wants. Wants are the personal aims that learners like to get from the language course. They reflect learners' personal expectations, and hopes towards acquiring English from the language course. 
Usually, these needs are very personal, therefore they are sometimes called subjective. In fact, these wants are very real and may conflict with the necessities as perceived by the employer. Therefore ways must be found to accommodate them. In this respect, individuals' wants cannot all be accounted for, however, the wants of the majority can be discussed and partially met. Learning needs Learning needs show how the students will be able to move, from the starting point, lax, to the final destination, necessities. They can be defined as Factors that affect the learning like attitude, motivation, awareness, personality, learning styles and strategies, together with the social background, Xiao, 2007-2. For example, learners may be greatly motivated in the subject or work, but may completely lose interest with the long, boring, and old teaching material. Hutchinson and Waters, 1987, claim that it is naive to base a course design simply on the target objectives, and that the learning situation must also be taken into account. They added that the target situation alone is not a reliable indicator and that the conditions of the learning situation, the learner's knowledge, skills, strategies, motivation for learning, the setting and the time loud are of prime importance. The learning process should be enjoyable, fulfilling, manageable, and generative. It is not concerned with knowing, but with the learning. Once the learner's needs are clearly identified, the ESP course designer can move on to the following step that is, syllabus design. Munby, 1978-40, points out that, syllabus specification in ESP can only take place after the prior and necessary work has been done on needs. Course designers need to analyze the learner learning needs according to their motivation, the conditions of the learning situation, and their existing knowledge and skills. Accordingly, the English for specific purposes, ESP, syllabus is intended to offer classes content, that focus on developing the language skills, needed for success on the job or in study following the learner's needs. 1. ESP course must be designed to meet the specific needs of the learners. 2. ESP is mainly related in content, themes and topics, to particular disciplines or occupations. 3. ESP uses authentic work-specific documents and materials. 4. ESP is intended to promote cultural awareness and seeks to improve intercultural competency. 5. ESP provides intermediate and advanced level language training. Generally, the students study English not because they are interested in the English language or English culture as such, but because they need English for study or work purposes, Robinson, 1991. 2. Base Turkman, 2006, 18, considers that in ESP, language is learned not for its own sake or for the sake of gaining a general education, but to smooth the path to entry or greater linguistic efficiency in academic, professional or workplace environments. This denotes that, the role of ESP is to help language learners to build up the needed abilities in order to use them in a specific field of inquiry, occupation, or workplace. These definitions were stated according to ESP evolution through time, this latter will be viewed in more details in the following lectures. Conclusion Highland, 2006, 73, proposes a multi-faceted definition of needs analysis. He considers that Needs analysis refers to the techniques for collecting and assessing information relevant to course design, it is the means of establishing the how and what of a course. It is a continuous process, since we modify our teaching as we come to learn more about our students, and in this way it actually shades into evaluation, the means of establishing the effectiveness of a course. Needs is actually an umbrella term that embraces many aspects, incorporating learners' goals and backgrounds, their language proficiencies, their reasons for taking the course, their teaching and learning preferences, and the situations they will need to communicate in. Needs can involve what learners know, don't know or want to know, and can be collected and analyzed in a variety of ways. Once again, this is Univ English Channel. Thank you very much for watching. If this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned for next videos.